States, the Rock Obama. Starting today, we must pick ourselves up, dust ourselves off, and begin again the work of remaking America. Barack Obama, President-elect of the United States of America. Barack Obama. Barack Obama. Tonight is a great victory. A seismic shift in American politics. This is an incredible milestone. These were dark days for Republicans. Democrats controlled all the seats of power. The White House and Congress, including a supermajority in the Senate. But with great power came great irresponsibility. Out of control spending, massive government expansion, broken promises, union payouts, radical appointments, corruption. As they say, it's always darkest before the dawn. It was time to get back to basics. We need all hands on deck. Back to the grassroots and to our core values. It starts with you, your family, your business, your community. It's about job creation, wealth creation, ownership, opportunity. Right. Not wealth redistribution. Oh, no. Not government control and takeover. Oh, no. But about you, the people. Ja, god morgen, kjære landsmøte. Vi har eh, mottatt et eh, veldig hyggelig brev som jeg nå har tenkt å lese opp for dere. Og det er datert april 23, nei, 23. april 2010. To my friends at the Progress Party in, of Norway. I sincerely appreciate the invitation to join you for the 2010 Progress Party National Convention and regret being able to attend. I am certain uh, the enthusiasm of your attendees there, there, combined with the dedicated service of C.V. Jensen and Progress Party leadership, will leave you all motivated to continue to grow the party. As the leading opposition party in Norway, tremendous opportunities to articulate conservative ideas will present themselves. I encourage you all to be prepared to take advantage of those chances. After our, th our 2008 election cycle, Many political pundits and new media wrote off the Republican Party and proclaimed that liberal ideology had won the day. However, as we have learned throughout this year and last, voters continue to value the principles of individual freedom, lower taxes, a strong national defense, less government intrusion, and more personal responsibility. Your commitment, hard work, and support during this incredibly important time will ensure Progress Party successes for many years to come. I look forward to your continued growth as a party and future electoral successes throughout Norway. I wish you an enjoyable Progress Party National Convention, and I trust the enclosed video will inspire you all to continue to fight for free market conservative principles. Sincerely, Michael Steele, Chairman, Republican National Committee. Og det var jo en hyggelig start på dagen. Men nå skal vi gå over til dagens åpningsforedrag. Tim Phillips is the president of the organization Americans for Prosperity, AFP, and has 25 years of experience from political activism, campaigning, and grassroots organizations uh, in the United States. Americans for Prosperity organizes more than one million people from all the 50 states. The main focus of AFP has lately been the health reform, taxes, and climate change. Central to the political views AFP represents is the belief in free market ideas, lower taxes, and less government intervention. The title of Philip's speech at the Progress Party National Convention 2010 is Grassroots Activism, Tea Parties, and Campaigning in the United States. Phillips is seen as one of the leading figures uh, in the so-called Tea Party movement in the United States. The Reno magazine, The Economist, has characterized the Tea Party movement as America's most vibrant political force. 
Although the Tea Party movement is much decentralized and not a unified movement, it often consists of people who believe in smaller government and lower taxes. It is named after the Boston Tea Party, the famous tax revolt against the British Tea Act of 1773. That was a key event leading up to the growth of the American Revolution. The modern day tea parties attracts everything from a handful of people to several thousand. Please welcome Tim Phillips. Well, good morning, fellow freedom fighters. Good morning. Springtime in Norway, or as my good friend Al Gore calls it, evidence of global warming time. <laughs> After the brutally cold winter we've had on the other side of the Atlantic, where is Al Gore in his hot air when we need it most? It's been a very diff. Has it been difficult here as well this winter? Well, springtime is here and not a moment too soon. Thank you, Siv, for having us and for inviting me and uh, for your leadership to this party and to the country. And I want to thank you, the Progress Party, for what you're doing. You know, you're doing the hard work of freedom. There's no other way around it. It's a Saturday morning. It's beautiful outside. Have you been outside this morning? It's beautiful outside. You could be doing literally anything. Instead, you chose to come in here and fight for your country's future. And you're to be congratulated. You're doing the hard work of freedom, and thank you for that. Now look, I, I understand, and just rumor has it, that my visit to your great country has created a bit of a stir on the left. Is that correct? Could someone as humble and unassuming as I cause a stir like that? What is it they're attacking about us? What is it that has your prime minister take time from his very busy job, I'm sure, of running the country to attack us and to attack this movement? Mr. Prime Minister, when you denigrate and sling mud, you're really attacking millions of citizens across the Atlantic who are just standing up for the values and the beliefs that have made Western civilization a bulwark for this world of ours. That's what you're doing. You're attacking a movement that is really about the people. It's about making life better. It's about bringing us and returning us to the roots of our freedom, individual responsibility, an idea that the person, not the government, is paramount in this world today. That's what you're doing, and he ought to be ashamed of himself when he ought to stop these personal attacks and get back to governing the country. We are not immune to such political attacks on the other side of the Atlantic either. Sadly, President Obama and others on the left are continuing a, a rather personal assault on freedom. In fact, uh, we just had Taxpayer Day in America, which is April 15. Uh, it's a painful day. It's when all of us have to fill out the uh, Internal Revenue Service forms and we have to run down to the post office and write our checks and give them to the federal government. Uh, for the privilege of, uh, of having their wonderful services. And it was difficult. Across the country, and you may have seen some of the coverage of this, literally hundreds of thousands of Americans came out to tea parties. Did you see some of the coverage of that? At countries, at states and cities across the country, really. The president, viewing his fellow citizens, doing the very highest traditional form of democracy, going out and and, and rallying and, and discussing freedom and, and the political process, said he was amused, said he was amused by these Tea Party groups. The elections are this November, and we're going to find out if this president is still laughing after this November's elections. There's going to be a huge sea change in the United States this November. Mark my words, we're going to win this November's elections and win them big. 